What up, what up, it's Grant, your sixth favorite YouTuber, and this video is gonna be how to reverse engineer your life and get anything that you want by asking questions to greatness. Now, so many people in this world don't get the things that they want, right? Maybe you want a $100,000 a year job. Maybe you want a hot boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe you want amazing friends. Maybe you want no anxiety. Maybe you want an amazing body. Here's the crazy part. Whatever you want, you can have. I'm getting goosebumps just by saying that. Look at that, that's real goose pimples. Whatever you want in this universe, you can have. And it's so simple. All you do is think about what you want, think about the steps to get there, and do the steps. Grant, it's not that simple. It's really hard to get what I want. No, it's not. It's actually super easy to get what you want. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Here's the crazy part. Actually, let me start here. Whatever you want in your life, you can have. But here's the problem. You have to decide what you want. Okay? Now, in life... You have to have a goal. You have to have a destination. It's absolutely foundational. And the reason is because if you don't, you're floating. You're lost. You can't judge anything as bad or good. When that goal is there, when that thing that you think you want is out there in the distance, well, now you have a way, you have a framework to think about reality. Because if it stops you from getting to the goal, it's bad. And if it helps you get to your goal, it's good. So now you have a framework to move through life. Now you're just not a freaking wind you're not a leaf blowing in the wind right you're like a bullet traveling to its destination bah, 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 right it's way easier to live life like that because you actually have a framework to live and congratulations you just choosing a goal and moving toward it puts you in the top five percent of humans because nobody has a goal right because there's people in third world countries that are just trying to survive they're just trying to eat food they're out running bears and stuff and you're blessed because you're in a freaking not that country, right? And you have the internet and your life is actually amazing. You just need to see the blessings. So the fact that you're even here watching this video, bro, just chase your dreams. It's easy, right? So here's how to do it. Seneca, one of the most famous philosophers ever. He said, if a man does not know to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. What does that mean? This means that if you don't have a destination, if you don't have a goal, your life's, <clears throat> your life's gonna suck. And obviously that was a paraphrase, but that's basically what he said. So what is reverse engineering? Reverse engineering is simply the art of thinking about what you want, deciding what you want, and then creating the steps to get there. And these are all skills that are embedded in the skill of reverse engineering. And the smartest people in the world, the most intelligent people in the world, the richest people in the world, they do this. This is how they think. And they don't want you to know about it because they don't want you young, rich, handsome, and sexy. But I want you young, rich, handsome, and sexy. So that's why I'm doing this video for you, right? Now, let's say you want $100,000 a year. Okay, how do you get there? Well, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is that skill. Because eventually what you want to do is you're just walking to your goal. Here we go. Here we go. You hit a roadblock. Oh, going around that. Oh, here we go. We're back on track. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we hit a roadblock. Go around that. Boom. And then we get to our goal. Now, I'm going to hit all of these individually. But I did, I did just want to touch on how important it is to actually have a goal. Now, here is why people can't get the results they want in life. It's very simple. There's two reasons. Number one. They cannot choose what they want. They literally just can't make a decision. If you can just choose what you want, you can get what you want. The problem is people cannot choose what they want. Think about all your friends. If you ask them, hey, what do you want? They don't know. And they're afraid to, they're afraid to say it, right? They're literally like, they'll just self-destruct if you ask them that question. And that's every other human. So people, so you hear this all the time and it's super cliche, but it's absolutely true. The hardest part isn't getting what you want. The hardest part is knowing what you want. And the reason that all your friends don't have what they want is because they can't choose. So literally, you just choosing what you want, you will get it. Because then once you know what you want, you can be like, oh, what are the steps to get there? And then you literally just do the steps and then you get the goal. And that's the amazing part about reality. Nobody has ever chosen a goal, done every step that, they was, required, that was required to get there, and then not gotten the thing they wanted. Never happened in reality. It's happened every single time. So if you don't have what you want yet, it's because you haven't done the steps. It's literally that simple. It's so easy. So keep this in mind. The clearer that you can see your goal, the clearer the steps will be. Okay? The clearer that you can see your goal, the clearer the steps will be. And the reason is because once you can paint such a vivid picture of what you want to see in your mind, in your life, <coughs> bless me, bless you, um, then you'll know exactly what to do. So here's an example. Let's say you want $100,000 a year job. Okay? You don't know how to do it yet because you don't have it. And this is something that nobody understands. A lot of people are like, well, I know how to do it. I just haven't done it yet. No, that's not true. You're coping if you say that. Because if you don't have what you want, there's information that you're lacking. 
And information is how to manipulate reality in the right way to get what you want, okay? So get off your high horse. Admit that you don't know the answer yet, and that's fine because I'm going to show you how to get the answer. Also, what are we basically doing here? We're learning how to manipulate reality to get what we want. All you have to do to get what you want is you have to align your mental model. The, you have to align how you think reality works in your brain with how reality actually works. The average person is in a different universe on how reality actually works versus how they think it works. They're not even in this, a different universe. They're in a different multi-dimensional uh, multiverse away from how reality actually works. And that's why they can't get what they want because their mental model is so far off the mark. It's crazy. So here's how you actually do it. I'm going to walk you through how to reverse engineer. So we're going to get you 100K, your job, hot boyfriend and girlfriend, amazing friends, no anxiety, and amazing body in one video. Okay, in this video. So here's the process. You have a goal, $100,000 a year job. Now here's the problem. That's a pretty general goal because like $100,000 a year doing what? You don't know. And like $100,000 a year like remote or like in an office, like what do you want your life to look like? Because you have limited time and energy. So you have to ask questions like, okay, what do I want my day-to-day -day stuff to look like? How does this fit? What must be removed to allow this in? What's currently taking its place? How do I want my day to look? How much energy is this going to take? Ah, uh, Right? You have to actually think about these things. So let's say you want a 100K a year job. And you're like, you know what? I want a 100K a year job, but I want to do it remotely. So you're like, well, the first thing I should probably figure out is where can I find a 100K a year job? Like what industries pay that? So then you do some Googling. And then you find sales. And then you find the corporate route. And then you find tech. And then you find software. Right? You just find random stuff. And you're like, okay, I'm going to look at all these things. And you're like, well, which ones can I do remotely though? And you're like, well, corporate job, I can't really because I probably got to go into the office. So, oh, but sales, I see remote sales positions. Okay. So you're like, oh, I can hit $100,000 a year remotely in sales. And then the question, right? So questions, asking questions to get to greatness. So basically every step is a different question. So we were here, we're like, how do we get $100,000 a year job? We were like, well, we want to work remotely. We did some Googling because we didn't know the answer. We found sales. We're like, okay. Then it's like, okay, what sales jobs can pay me $100,000 a year remotely? Well, let me Google that. And you find solar, then you find insurance, then you find um, high ticket closing, right? You find all these different things. And you're like, oh, let me try to do high ticket closing because the insurance route, I got to get a license. And then the solar route, I got to move to Nevada. I don't want to do that, right? It's not even remote. Um, so I'm going to do high ticket closing. So boom, you found your $100,000 a year job and you're like, okay, I'm going to do high ticket closing remotely. Then the question becomes, how do I get the high ticket closing job? And you're like, well, I don't know. Let me figure that out. <laughs> and then you do some research. It's really that simple. So you can just literally choose the goal and you keep going from there. Let's say you want to get a hot boyfriend or girlfriend. Again, the first thing is you got to get specific with what you want. Huh, what does a hot boyfriend and girlfriend mean? Let's say it's me. What girlfriend do I want? Well, I want a girlfriend that is obviously hot. I want her to have a nice body, pretty face. I want her to be smart, emotionally intelligent. I want her to like business or at least be interested in it. So then I think about all those different things that I listed, okay? And I'm like, which one is the hardest to find? Well, I'm like, probably the business part because I've seen a lot of hot girls walking around and a lot of them don't have the mind to match. So I think I'm going to start with the mind and then try to find a hot girl with a nice mind. So then it's like, okay, well, if she's in a business, let me try to go to bath. Uh, so, okay, so let's say I know I want a girl that's in a business. What are my options? Well, I could probably go to a business mastermind. I could probably just scour local businesses and see if they have hot daughters. I could probably just search on Instagram for three hours and just find girls that are hot that have business tags in their bio. There's a lot of different options. So then I'm like, you know what? Let me choose the mastermind route. So, I, so then I go to a business mastermind, right? And I see a girl, she's super hot and she's at the business mastermind. And I'm like, what up? And we start talking. And I'm like, hey, da da da, we're talking or whatever. And then she's like, oh, I gotta go. And then she leaves me. And I'm like, what? I found my wife because I... I, I, I finally found her, but she didn't like me. Oh, wait, it's because I'm boring. It's because I can't talk to girls yet. I don't know what to do. So then now the goal's still the same. It's still got a hot boyfriend or girlfriend, but now the reverse engineer process has shifted from find her, which I already did because I know she's at a mastermind because so I found her once I can find her again, right? Not her specifically, but a different girl, a different type of girl. But now it's, okay, how do I get good at talking to girls? Well, it's like, can I even learn this? And then I start Googling and I'm like, oh, I can learn this. Oh, there's a way to do it. Oh, this is a skill I can learn. And now I've reverse engineered the same goal, but I'm on a different path, right? Because reality said, hey, bro, you ain't good enough for the hot girl yet. Get better. And I listened and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Let me try to get better.
Does that make sense? It's super easy. Let's say you want amazing friends. What kind of friend do you want? What do they do? Let's say your name's Becky and you want to find a group of friends that likes to go out on the weekends and they like to uh, play Bunko on the weekdays, okay? And you're like, you know what? I really like Bunko and going out. Let me go find my Bunko friends. So then how do you find them? Well, let me try to just go on Google and look up a Bunko group. Now you got 20 Bunko groups. And oh my God, there's one in my local town. Then you sign up and then you go. Congratulations, you've just found your amazing friend. But can you see that process? You have to start with what you want. When you, find, when you figure out what you want and you can get specific with it, the steps just appear because you know what to do. The problem is people can't get specific. Let's say you don't want any anxiety. <clears throat> this is something that I went through when I was 18 because I had full day panic attacks for like months on end. So I had all this anxiety and I was like, you know what? I can reverse engineer my way out of this. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, I don't want anxiety and I have it now. So I can think I don't have the skill to stop it because I have it. So then I was like, what is anxiety? That was my first question. And I started Googling and YouTubing. And I was like, oh, anxiety is just an emotion. Okay, well then how do emotions get created? So then I started Googling and YouTubing. I'm like, oh, uh, an emotion is just a thought. It's just because of a thought. So I have a thought, I get the same emotion. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm just having bad emotions, aka anxiety, because I'm having bad thoughts. And then I was like, can I change my thoughts? And I started Googling and YouTubing, right? And then I found Eckhart Tolle. And he was like, you can change. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I realized I can actually change my thoughts. And that was crazy to me. And I was like, okay, well, how do I do this? He's like, it's meditation. So then I started meditating. I started meditating, meditating, meditating. And I started becoming aware of my thoughts. And I saw all my thoughts. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can change my thoughts. And so guess what I did? I just got rid of the anxious thoughts. An anxious thought would come in and I'd be like, don't want to think that today. And I'd not think that I think something happy. And then when I started thinking happy thoughts, I started feeling happy emotions. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cured my anxiety, right? And it was crazy because when I, when I went down that rabbit hole, when I started reverse engineering away my anxiety, I started asking all my friends and they were like, well, no, I've had anxiety forever. I can never fix it. Well, no, I'm, I'm just wired like this. And I'm like, are you though? Because I've had times in my life that I wasn't anxious. Like, I don't, I think I can fix this. And then all the doctors are like, no, take a pill. They're like, oh, do this and that, right? So everybody's saying something that I don't think is true. And I'm like, curious and I follow it. I'm like, you know what? Let me see if this ain't true. And it wasn't. So the truth is, if you don't want anxiety, you got to fix your thoughts. But the nice part is you can fix your thoughts. You just got to learn how to do it. So that's how I fixed my anxiety. I just reverse engineered the path, realized I, there was a couple skills I didn't have, which was the skill of controlling my thoughts right? And the, and, and the skill of seeing my thoughts. So I had to start doing that. And once I could do that, I got rid of it. Reverse engineered. Amazing body. Same thing. Let's say you want six. Let's, so what does amazing body mean? Well, you're like, well, I want abs. So at least you have the goal now. You want abs. Then the question becomes, okay, how do I get abs? So then you start YouTubing and Googling. And then you're like, oh, for me to get abs, all I have to be in is a caloric deficit. So I just have to eat less calories then I'm maintaining every day and I get abs. It's that simple. And then you realize, yeah, it is. And you're like, okay, well then how, again, the question shifts again. So now it's like, okay, well, how can I make sure I'm counting my calories? Oh, there's an app called my fitness pal that I can put on my phone. Okay, cool. So I got my fitness pal and then I'm going to plug in my calories. So I guess I got to figure out the calories and the foods I'm eating. So then you grab an apple and you're like, oh, 80 to 100 calories. And then you grab, you know, a banana and you're like, oh, 100 to 120 calories. And you start learning calories and things. You start tracking it. You start hitting your calorie number that you're supposed to hit. And now you got your amazing body. So guess what? Every single gap that you've had in your life, you started with, okay, how do I want to fill this? Let me think about the steps. And then you just did the steps. And then you got the thing you want. It's super easy. It's super simple. There's no magic in it. It's just manipulating reality to get you anything that you ever wanted is very easy. And literally it's this simple. There's no, nothing is left out of this. It's just, what do you want? Where are the steps to get there? Walk the steps. It is that simple. But when you're walking the steps, you will find this. You're going to be missing a lot of skills. There's a lot of skills that you don't have that you have to learn on the way. But you walking this path will show you, hey, I don't have these skills. Now I have to learn them. So you'll have all these different little skill detours and getting what you want. And then once you have all the skills, then you'll get the thing that you want. But if you can just do this, your life will get amazing.